I really think it's all about mindset and in this video I'm gonna talk about eight ways to become a better you I'm not saying you're a horrible you but just a little bit better and it's all about getting better it's all about growing I mean if you're not growing then what the hell are you actually doing right now I'll talk to you about the eight ways you can become a better version of yourself so this is number one and it's very underrated it's called meditation or meditating meditation is better for you because it gives you more focus concentration clarity it improves your self-esteem it helps you connect better with your inner self towards your outer self it reduces your stress hormones it also knows yourself a lot better and um, it helps you control your emotions we all make the worst decisions of our lives based out of negative emotions and meditation helps you make better decisions because of that. Try to start meditating for one minute every morning upon waking up and even one minute prior to sleeping. I started with one minute, came to two, came to three, and now I'm doing 15 minutes of meditation every morning that is not disturbed by any nuisance whatsoever the longer you meditate the level the higher level of focus that you will have doing this you will have a lot more drastic change in your thinking and how you decide things every day less clutter more organized so if you want to learn more about meditation there's there's a video there's a lot of videos on youtube and even on netflix there's a, a short mini series all about meditation so you can watch those and you know learn more from there so number one meditation or meditating number two and it's one of my favorite things to do which is to start reading more i like reading i've said it in all my almost all my videos how i love to read books every morning i read about eight books not entire books but a chapter or two of every book about eight books every morning so i spend about 45 minutes to one hour reading eight chapters of eight books and at night i do the same thing that's so i read about 16 books almost every day actually uh, if not I'll just read in the morning or not at night so what does reading do it helps a person to know more about himself or things that they don't know yet about themselves number two it allows you to write better and to think better at the same time number three it definitely increases your IQ and number four it will also improve your thoughts and how you think how you how to how to develop a reading habit well you have to prepare yourself into the reading format meaning you have to make it a priority meaning it has to become a habit like how you brush your teeth every morning or how you tie your shoes reading becomes a habit for you because you have to do it every morning or every every night it becomes a habit like watching tv for some people watch tvs for three hours four hours straight because it's a habit they binge watch how about binge reading have you heard about something like binge reading not really right well, I do binge reading to a point where in at night I just fall asleep reading a book and I'd rather fall asleep reading a book than fall asleep reading my phone or watching TV at least I get something out of it right besides entertainment let's go on to number three which is to eat healthy we all know that the healthy body is a key to a healthy mind you know what they say junk in junk out if you put junk in your body junk comes out of your mind and out of your mouth at the same time too so a healthy mind Mind is a key to a lot more calmer and peaceful life what will you do with all the money if you have poor health if you have gout for example how can you walk and enjoy your money in the in the beach if you can't even walk properly because you have so much sodium in your body that you've had leave all those cheap dopamines outside which is junk food that produces nothing but you know not, nothing useful for you and start to eat healthy i don't need to elaborate about eating healthy it's there's so much information about eating healthy don't do a diet you don't have to eat less you just have to eat right that's what i learned so i eat anything that i want i don't eat less but i just eat what's right number four and this is something you need to do consistently which is to work out i know it scares a lot of people when they read the word work out but for me working out is not a chore but a part of life 
It's a part of the way of life or how we do things. If you need a healthy body, a healthy mind, try to start exercising. Like start, I have a client that does not run or jog. But what we started doing was he started walking his dogs for about 15 minutes every day. It became 30 minutes and it became 45 minutes of him walking with his dog. Now he's already running. And how did it start? It started with the small things. So don't underestimate you doing, let's say, 10 push-ups a day for 30 days versus the person that did not do 10 push-ups at all for 30 days. So if you compare a person that did 300 push-ups in a month versus the person who didn't do any push-up whatsoever and had the same diet, you see two completely different person. That's guaranteed. It will help you. Exercising will help you in a lot of ways. I mean, you can do any sort of exercise that you know or whatever, whatever you feel like doing. So it gives you energy, it builds your confidence, and it removes stress. Every time I feel a feeling of stress, automatically when I get home, I need to work out because I have to release all those stress away by working out out and getting that sweat out of you right instead of just sitting down and sulking about your problems or getting stressed by small things i just work out and i feel much better afterwards start to try working out as part of your habit so that's number four workout by the way if you're enjoying this video a subscribe to the channel would be marvelous number five this is an important thing if you don't like comments of people number five is embracing feedback i've had the thinking before that if it's constructive criticism and constructive feedback that's the only thing i'll accept it turns out i should li just listen to any feedback whether it's good bad greatly put together or horribly put together feedback is feedback i mean i don't have to be crippled by feedback but at the same time I recognize feedback from other people. Why is feedback critical to success? Number one, it improves the quality of whatever products or services that you offer. Number two, it opens up new opportunities for you to improve on. And number three, it improves your overall performance. Those are the top three reasons why getting feedback is huge from people, especially those that are feedback for improvement. Of course, you want to see the comments where it's already obvious that, yeah, you're great, you're awesome, you're fantastic and such. But what about those that, oh, you can use a better packaging or you can do a lot better you know, with the taste and something like that with your product and everything else or you can be a lot kinder perhaps or you can deliver your messages a lot more. if you have anything to say with what i do or what i say you're free to comment in the comment section down below let me know what you think if you don't look like if you don't like how i look well i can't do anything about it anymore but you can leave it in the comment section down below whatever it is that you think so i'm good with that thanks for your feedback because in short feedback is a tool for continuous learning you will never know if there's something to improve on if someone didn't tell you what you need to improve on. That is embracing feedback. Number six, learn how to value your time. And uh, I struggled with this for a very long time because I was a lot of a, I mean, I, I was very much a people pleaser back in the day. Like I had to always say yes to a friend asking for a favor. Can we go here? Yes. Can we do this? Yes. And can we do this whatsoever? I always say yes. Why? Because I hated saying no. And being able to say no is a superpower because if you value your time, you will be able to say no to a lot more people most of the time. Like I've denied so many clients already that wanted my services, but I said no because they wanted my entire time and I don't want that. I work because I want freedom, not because I want more money. Our time is limited. Like this video is limited. Everything's limited. Guess what? Our lives are limited too we're all gonna die and that's a fact should it scare you yes and should you do something about it yes don't waste your time time is limited so don't waste it make a powerful routine and work on every single thing on improving yourself every single day cut off all the things and people that don't make you healthier it's okay to cut off people that doesn't bring you peace of mind or controls your mind or someone that lives rent free in your head imagine it that you hate your best friend for being successful and they don't know about it they don't know about it why should they be worried about you hating on them but in your head that person lives on you rent free it's horrible it makes you more miserable as a person so Cut off the things that just don't make you better because if you do, if you cut those things off, you'll be healthier, you'll be smarter, you'll be wealthier, and of course, you could be a lot fitter at the same time as well. So that's number six. Number seven, this is the importance of building a strong character. 
all right i have to admit i had a i had a very insecure personality a few years ago and you can see it by the by the clothes i i i wore back then you know everything had to be branded because the brand wore me instead of me you know um wearing my own brand i don't think you should be carried by whatever it is surrounded with you like you know i'm, I'm wearing this brand of a shirt but it doesn't really matter to me right but knowledge will give you power but your character is what gives you respect it doesn't mean that you wear a brand or you know there's a fancy logo on your car that people should respect you that's not the case so you need to learn how to build a good character and a strong one as well why because of five things you want to be fearless you want to be intelligent you want to be a person that's ambitious you want to be a person that's humble at the same time and you want to be a person that's respectful so that you can be respected at the same time. It's important because it becomes you. It becomes an authentic you as a person. Building a strong character is as simple as being able to recognize who you are as a person and who you are not as a person as well. And there's nothing wrong with, with not being this kind of a person or not being that kind of a person. So you don't need to compare yourself with others. Just be yourself, being authentic. It's the most important thing. People will appreciate you more if you become just you as you are. Number eight, and this is one of my favorites, of course, which is to start your own business. Why? Because we all know now for a fact that relying on one source of income is not sustainable and it's not a good way to live, right? Especially Especially during the pandemic when a lot of people are relying on jobs and they lost their jobs so therefore they have no source of income then that's why a lot of new entrepreneurs were born and bred because of the pandemic not because it's their choice but because they had no choice I think around 4 million people are un unemployed in the Philippines used to be employed and the numbers are still growing and it's a huge number so I mean you resort to doing side hustles side gigs doing a lot of things on the side just to make a living don't just rely on one source because you will be just one step away from poverty if you rely on one source of income build as much as many income streams as possible I mean you can google the seven income streams and try to have them all I don't need to um, list down all the seven streams of income but if you google it or research on YouTube you'll find all seven streams of income I'm working towards my sixth I don't know yet if I'll be able to do the seventh but hopefully I'll be able to learn the seventh income stream on my my own but yeah I have five of those running for me as of now remember the earlier you start your business the earlier you'll be able to reach freedom okay there's a wrong mindset and perception that if you have a business that's where you make money no when you have your own business you have much more freedom at first you're gonna be tied to it but as the years gone by and you let more people run the business for you you're now just managing it from the sidelines and from there, we were to do more things. And that's why some people have 200 businesses. Some clients that I know have more than 200 businesses that they run all together at the same time. How they do it with 24 hours in a day? It's because they have people that are already running their business for them. All they have to do is see the reports. Sounds easy, but start with one. And when one business is stable, you can go on to do another one and another one and another one. But you just need to have to you just need to start with one i failed a lot of business before uh, i'm proud of those journeys has been talking to me about doing the seven businesses that i failed before for the seven lessons i've i've learned with seven business but it's not just seven lessons that i learned from those seven failed businesses that i'm that i'm proud of that i share on social media but probably do an episode on that very soon that's all i have for you today if you found value today's episode make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and share and leave a comment in comment section down below if you found any value to this episode and i'll see you guys again in the next video peace